three real use cases of AI that I think are interesting right now. One is in spying, one is in nuclear power, and one is in drugs. So we'll start with the spying first. Boston-based startup GeoSpy had a public-facing website for a while where you could upload any street corner type photo, anything that's at street level, and it would immediately identify where it was taken in the world. This reminds me of the uh, guy known as Rainbolt online who would look at any photo and immediately geoguess where it was. Well, AI could do that too, and AI did do that, and that's what GeoSpy is all about. And there are obviously privacy implications here because you can imagine taking a picture of you and your friends, like suddenly like it could be uploaded, everyone would know exactly where you were, et cetera. GeoSpy closed their public facing portal after some public objections and is now marketing the product only to law enforcement. It will certainly get used. Number two, on the drug side, Demis Hassabis is the 2024 Nobel Prize winner and has already won a Nobel for AI. I don't, I don't know if you know that, but like he won for AI for AlphaFold2, which is a protein folder. He founded a startup after winning the Nobel and the startup is called Isomorphic Labs. And all it does is it focuses on drug discovery. And what he is saying is that in his opinion, drug discovery is gonna go from a decade long process to weeks or months with AI. And the first AI designed drugs from his lab are going into clinical trials in the next couple of months. So if you are wondering like, is AI actually making a practical difference? Yeah, we're moving to clinical trials much faster than we used to, and that's going to speed up. So that's really exciting. Number three on the nuclear side, uh, Commonwealth Fusion, which is a little spin out of MIT. Uh, MIT produces these research driven spin outs all the time. Uh, they're working on stabilizing plasma in tokamaks for nuclear fusion uh, through AI. And so I'll explain what that is. A tokamak is a little hollow tube, it has magnets in it, it contains the plasma. The plasma is very hot for nuclear fusion. If the plasma touches the container, it's going to melt it. You don't want it to do that. It's also very unstable. And so what they're trying to do is figure out how to predict future states of plasma in the nuclear fusion reactor with artificial intelligence so that they can better manage the magnet power array to contain the plasma and sustain the reaction for longer. So that's exciting because nuclear fusion is one of those technologies that's been about 20 years away for the last 60 years. Uh, and so maybe something like that will actually help us to get to a point where it's more commercially viable. We'll see. Speaking of fusion, this is a weird one, uh, and it goes to how you have to sort of be thoughtful about what you see AI doing online. Uh, there's a Canadian streamer who claims that he built nuclear fusion on his kitchen tabletop, talking only to Claude in 36 hours. Nobody can figure out if he's telling the truth or not. He streamed the whole thing, but no one can figure out if what, what we saw at the end was actually nuclear fusion or not. So I, I think one of the things that's interesting with AI is that it does give us these uh, increased capability sets, but we also don't really know where the edges are because this is also new. And so this is an example of something where we aren't sure, is it possible? Could you use Claude to do this or not? You tell me, what are some interesting use cases of AI that I haven't heard about yet or haven't mentioned here yet? I'd be curious to hear more. Cheers.